It is a one-third scale replica of the original Eiffel Tower in Paris, France, which is 987 feet. We're traveling at a speed of 7 miles per hour, 10 feet per second. I need your attention, please. I must inform you, official park policy strictly prohibits dropping and throwing of any objects off a tower of this height that does include no spinning, no eating, drinking, or smoking while on the platform. You'll be leaving to the doors marked exit. When you wish to return, just come around the doors that are marked enter. You're up 275 feet. Enjoy the view. Wow.
Sige, mag-target kayo dali para madidig yung beat yung... Sandali, sandali ha. Sandali. Ha? Mag-target kayo para madidig yung ano. Nasaan na ba si Joel? Joel, mag-target ka muna. Oh my God. Si Joel naman. So heavy, so oh my god, so loud. Oh my goodness. Loud. Really? So you're good? I'm good. That's without a scope. Huh? Did you hear about Joel? Oh my goodness. So loud. Oh my goodness. That's Joel and Joey. Joey's drinking coke now. Look at the puvet.
Galing talaga. Wow, galing. Naka-score siya. Score siya, score. Galing talaga ni Joey, oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, Joey. That's Joel. How? Nakaballs ay ka ba, Joel? We have all this uh, bang, bang, bang. It's all bang, 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 bang. Loud. Joey, one more. Joel, one more. Sino ba titira? Sino titira? Sino titira? Sino titira? Ha, ikaw ba, Joey? Okay, baby Joey. Bolsay again. Goodness. That's Joel naman, si Joel naman. Sino ba titira? What is that? What's I that? that. Me, fire, may go ahead and change What's the matter? The snap? Tapos na? Ali le pat kisi ba? Bakit? They are going to the field to get the target, target, whatever, I don't know. Nagtahala ka dyan dalawa. Kukunin nila yung target na uh, ginagamit nila. Pinapag-targetan nila. Anything then uh, they are coming back now. Coming back. 
You want some cookies? Some soda? I bought uh, one chippy and one cookies I just pay 50 cents and then he gave me another box of cookies for free Oh, yes.
Chào bạn, bọn sai Oh my goodness This is, I think, the boy bar more than before it's a big game.
Jovi. Yo voy The African lion. Um, the African lion. Our 350-acre safari is the largest outside of Africa. Join us as we learn together and unravel the mysteries and surprises in store for you as you meet nearly 1,200 animals from 60 different species on safari at the Six Flags Wild Safari Animal Park. Welcome to Six Flags Wild Safari Animal Park. We hope that you have an enjoyable trip through our wild safari. For your safety and the safety of our animals, we ask that you note and observe all regulations. Signs throughout the safari are posted to remind you to not feed the animals. Our animals are cared for with very special diets. So please, do not interrupt their the healthy meals by feeding them. Also, for your own safety, your windows must remain closed at all times. We ask that you not litter, and if you smoke, please use your car ashtray to extinguish and dispense of cigarettes. For your safety, drive around on convertible or soft top yeah. cars, as well as... Animals from 60 different species on safari at Six Flags Wild Safari Animal Park. Welcome to Six Flags Wild Safari Animal Park. We hope that you have an enjoyable trip through our wild safari. For your safety and the safety of our animals, we ask that you note and observe all regulations. Signs rough. Ostrich. American plane. Got it? Look at that. What the hell is that? Kiwi? Ostrich. Big bird. It's a Ria. And it's my pangalan. Ria. In our American Ducky. Animals from the cool backwoods of North America to the hot poppers of South America. Most carefully as we describe the American bison. Like the drive around on the yeah, okay. Drive through. Do not feed the animal. Read that, ma. Do not feed the animal. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Wow, do look at the deer. Nice, nice. What's that? Ayun, ayun. Ang laki na sunga nyo. Oh my God, it's so nice. So, that's not a deer. It's a moose. It's a moose. That's, that's uh, what you call that? That's um, ostrich. This is an ostrich. It's a rhea, not ostrich. Look at that horn, man. It's a parade of a... Uh, oh, man. Look at that shit. Hey, man, I'm not savage now. Oh, man. Follow the leader. Oh, man. 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 Oh,
And that's a big trophy right there. Stay in the lane, Joe. Diba sabi, stay in the lane. Ay, ay, may baby dip pa dun. Ay, ay, ay. My goodness, kill me. Out of my way. It's not March of May. They are reddish brown in color with white spots. All part of nature's camouflage. They have the leaves and ground cover they hide in for protection. It is believed you can tell the age of a male deer by the points and sizes of his rack. You can get some idea. Do not pin it, pin it, pin it. Do not trap it. No, no. Ay, no, mga reindeer, oh. Oh. Uy, may zoom in yan, ha? Hindi mo ba alam? Pwede mo i-zoom in. Ali, hindi ko alam, eh. Ay, kung pipindutin mo, oh. Zoom in. Ang ganda yan. The smallest oh. member of the rat type family oh, stands this. up to four and a half feet tall and weighs up to 45 pounds. You got it, me? A very noticeable black cap of feathers. During mating season, males become very oh, bold and aggressive. Oh. It is the male bird who sits on the clutch of the bag with the female's leg. Are you not? Well, Several well, females well, contributing well, to each nest. It's not an easy task. So each well, female well, can well, weigh well, up to well, ten pounds. Well, well, the well, males well, need to save the eggs for up to 40 days and look after any young bird. Yeah. It's on your side. The most abundant deer in the United States is the white-tailed deer. They can be recognized by the white patch of fur under their tail. Oh, yeah. That's so cute. That's cute. That one is cute. Changing to a thick gray-brown and deer. Breeding takes place in the fall. Is that a reindeer? After a gestation period of 210 to 250 days, the fawns, usually two, are born. They are a reddish-brown color with white spots. All part of nature's camouflage that help them blend into the leaves and ground cover they hide in for protection. It is believed you can tell the age of a male deer by the point and size of his rack. You can get some idea of the age of The only animal in this section which is not on the north or south America is the fallow deer. This European deer is native to Mediterranean countries and is recognized by its creamy tan coat with white spots. Other color variations include coats that are white and black. By now you've spotted an unusual gray and white bird running around flying around in the country. Oh, look at this. This bird is in South America. The smallest member of the oh, rat type family on. stands up to four and a half feet tall and weighs up to 45 pounds. Yeah. Males have a very noticeable black cap of feathers. During mating season, males become very vocal and aggressive. It is the male bird who sits on the hill and looks at the female's there. With several females contributing to each nest. Not an easy task as each female can lay up to 10 eggs. The males incubate the eggs for up to 40 days and look after any young to hatch. The most abundant deer in the United States is the white-tailed deer. They can be recognized white by the deer. white patch of fur under their tails, which is displayed as they run. Their coats are a red-brown in summer, changing into a thick gray-brown in winter. Breeding takes place in the fall, and after adjusting oh, yeah. to I need that. The fall, the to Miguel dito, Joel. I popped it on the film. All part of nature's camouflage that help them blend. Oh, yeah. Hurry up! 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 Hurry
By now, you spotted an unusual yeah. dragon. Go ahead. Bird, I'm going to the head of the Indian elephant and large fan-shaped ears to facilitate Are cleaning the problem. Are you laying some eggs or what? The long trunk is used as a hand track to the heating, drinking, and bathing. Water is sucked off the heat trunk and flurry into the mouth to drink or float backwards into the body. Don't be surprised to see the six-ton animal swimming during the heat of the day. Sometimes you may find them totally submerged. Their lifespan depends on their ability to eat. Though capable of living 50 to 70 years, when the last set of teeth is worn, they can no longer eat. Before we leave the elephant rhino section, please take notice of the red cattle you have seen. They are Ancoli or Watusi cattle from Africa. Coming in various Watusi shades of red, cattle. some with white patches, the Watusi tribes raise these cattle and measure their personal wealth by the number of cattle they own. Their horns are their most noticeable feature, with some having a spread of five feet or more. Upon entering the elephant rhino section, a friendly reception awaits you from our ostrich. These large flightless birds from Africa stand 9 feet tall and weigh up to 400 pounds. Male ostrich are black with white wing feathers and either gray or reddish colored necks. Females are gray in color. These two-toed birds are extremely dangerous to approach. When defending themselves, they use their powerful legs to kick forward and their sharp toenails to inflict a mortal wound. Our white rhinos are free-roaming in this section. Their name is derived from the Dutch word white, which refers to the rhino's upper lip, not the color of his body. White rhinos hey, are Joe. actually gray in color. Joe, cool. 14 and a half feet long and stand an impressive six and a half feet at the shoulder. Their two horns are not made of bone, but rather composed of tightly entwined hair fibers, hey, which are constantly growing. Unfortunately, it is the horns that rhinos are killed by poachers in Africa because they are believed to be an African lion. The African in their own area are the largest of all land mammals. Fully grown, they may stand as high as 11 and a half feet at the shoulder and weigh between 12,000 and 14,000. Which refers to the rhino's upper lip, not the color of his body. White rhinos are actually gray in color. 14 and a half feet long and stand an impressive six and a half feet at the shoulder. Their two horns are not made of bone, but rather composed of tightly and fine fibers, which are constantly growing. Unfortunately, it is for these horns that rhinos are killed by poachers in Africa because they are the most nice in Africa. <laughs> the African elephants enclosed in their own area are the largest of all land mammals. Fully grown, they may stand as high as 11 feet at the shoulder and weigh between 12,000 and 12,000 pounds. They have a smaller head than the Indian elephant and large fan-shaped ears to facilitate cleaning with body heat. The long trunk is used as a hand for activities such as eating, drinking, and bathing. The water is sucked up into the trunk and squirted into the mouth to drink or thrown backwards over the body. Don't be surprised to see the six-ton animal swimming during the heat of the day. Sometimes you may find them totally submerged, leaving only their trunk above the water to breathe. An elephant's on, eyesight elephant. is poor, but they have an acute sense elephant. of smell and hearing. Tusks composed of ivory, not enamel, grow upward from the upper jaw and are used in defense, leverage, and digging. Most of the elephant's day is spent looking for food and eating, with only two to four hours of rest a day. Because much of an elephant's diet consists of coarse vegetation, nature has equipped them with six sets of teeth. As one set wears down, another is grown to replace it. Their lifespan depends on their ability to eat. Though capable of living 50 to 70 years, when the last set of teeth is worn, they can no longer eat. Their 
horns were their most noticeable feature, with some having a spread of five feet or more. Upon entering the elephant rhino section, a friendly reception awaits you from our ostrich. These large flightless birds from Africa stand nine feet tall and weigh up to 400 pounds. Male ostrich are black with white wing feathers and either gray or reddish colored necks. Females are gray in color. These two-toed birds are extremely dangerous to approach. When defending themselves, they use their powerful legs to kick forward and their sharp toenails to inflict a mortal wound. Our white rhinos are free roaming in this section. Their name is derived from the Dutch word right, which refers to the rhino's upper lip, not the color of the body. White rhinos are actually gray in color, 14 and a half feet long, and standing in front of six and a half feet of the shoulder. The oh, rather composed of tightly oh, entwined hair fibers, which are constantly growing. Unfortunately, it is in these horns that rhinos are killed by poachers in Africa because they are believed to be an aphrodisiac in the Orient. The African elephants you see enclosed in their own area are the largest of all land yeah, animals. Yeah, look at that. Hey, grown, they may stand yeah. as high as 11 hey, Joe, and the shoulders and weigh between 4,000 and 14,000 pounds. They have smaller heads than the Indian elephant and large fan-shaped ears to facilitate cooling of body heat. The long trunk is used as a hand for activities such as eating, drinking, and bathing. What is With only two to four hours of rest a day, because much of an elephant's diet consists of food education, nature has equipped them with two sets of teeth. As one set runs down, another is grown to replace it. Their life depends on their ability to eat. Though capable of living 50 to 70 years. I know. African game. Good day, my giraffe. What's that? In this section, we have animals from Africa and India. Some can still be found in the wild, and some in danger of becoming extinct have been protected on reserves in Africa. And the panoramic? An endangered species. Well, they are not. difficult to breed in captivity, but seem to do well in a free-roaming environment. They are characterized by their long face and horns that twist backwards. Their coat is a reddish-brown, and they have a continuous white blaze down their face. Gestation is seven months with a single calf being born. Measuring 45 inches at the shoulder and weighing 500 to 600 pounds, the Ellipsis water buck is one of the most handsome antelope in East Africa. Naturally excellent swimmers, water provides protection from enemies. They are silvery gray in color with a light underside and have a very target-like circle on their rear end. Females do not have horns. have a yellow top knot on the crown, black plumage, and a black forehead. There is a red throat wattle and red bare or white cheek. They have a gray body with black markings on the face and front legs. Their horns are straight, measuring up to 300 inches in length. In the wild, they are able to survive on dry coarse grass and little water. Because of the we want to point out the small around the world you've seen here and will be seen throughout the African plains. It is the black buck from India. When startled, the black buck jumps straight up in the air, high as five feet, and then leaps forward. Though small, only about three feet tall, they are extremely fast. They are tan in color with a white side, except for the adult green males, who slowly develop a dark brown to black coat. Only the males have horns, and they are one dominant male to the herd of females and cats. Nice truck.
transmission. Blue oh, ends are a sand brown color with a white underside. So there is a band of black at the top of the front legs, and both male and female have long spiral horns. Our Step here, here. Step here. Nice cloud. Often thought to look like a cross between a cow and a horse, the new with a silvery gray coat, dark face, long mane and tail, and characteristic white beard is certainly an oddity. Scimitar horned oryx are the most striking of all the oryx. They get their name from the long curved horns. In their natural habitat, they blend in well with desert surroundings with their white coat and reddish brown markings on the face and neck. The marabou stork is a tall shy bird, five feet in height. Its head is bald, flesh colored, and spotted. Its body feathers are black with white chest feathers. Hanging below the throat is a pointed, descendable pouch, which is not used Super. for holding food, Super. but is connected to the breathing system and may serve as a cushion for the bill when the bird is resting. Like vultures, marabou's rid Africa and southern Asia of carrion. Now we have crossed over into the next section of the African plains. This area is larger and more open, so here we find larger species of antelope and our herds of grant zebra. The zebra is a true wild horse, having never been domesticated. They are white with black stripes. Different breeds are characterized by their various stripe patterns. The grant zebra is from Africa, south of the Sahara Desert. They live in herds protected by a dominant male called a stallion. Zebras protect themselves mainly by running from danger, and in the event there is not enough time to run, they defend themselves by biting and kicking, sometimes breaking the jaw of the predator. The giraffe is the tallest of all animals, standing up to 18 feet tall, with males weighing in up to 3,000 pounds. Their favorite food is the acacia or locust tree's tender leaves. The higher the branch, the tastier the leaf, and their long tongue is capable of reaching those higher branches. The trees you see in the railed off section are a variety of locusts. Grazing and drinking is awkward for a giraffe, as they must spread their front legs far apart to reach the ground. Though giraffes have few natural enemies, this is a very vulnerable position for them. A female giraffe gives birth in a standing position, with a newborn calf falling five feet to the ground. This does not injure the calf, however, who is walking and nursing within an hour. There is certainly no truth to the old belief that giraffes cannot vocalize. They have a varied repertoire of sounds, from mooing to bellowing. The eland is the largest antelope, often reaching six feet at the shoulder, and in the case of the giant eland, a weight of 2,000 pounds. It is capable of jumping an eight-foot fence from a standing position. Elands are a sand brown color with a white underside. There is a band of black at the top of the front legs, and both male and female have long spiral horns. Yeah, Our African Cameroon pygmy goats love to block traffic, especially on busy days. A miniature breed of goat from Cameroon's Africa. They have black and white freckled muzzles and ears. Occasionally, you may find some that are gray and black in color. As we follow the road, winding down into a valley, we may come across a herd of white bearded new or wildebeest. Often thought to look like a cross between a cow and a horse, the new with a silvery gray coat, dark face, long mane and tail, and characteristic white beard is certainly an oddity. Scimitar horned oryx are the most striking of all the oryx. They get their name from the long curved horns. In their natural habitat, they blend in well with desert surroundings with their white coat and reddish brown markings on the face and neck. The marabou stork is a tall shy bird, five feet in height. Its head is bald, flesh colored, and spotted. Its body feathers are black with white chest feathers. Hanging below the throat is a pointed, descendable pouch, which is not used for holding food, but is connected to the breathing system and may serve as a cushion for the bill when the bird is resting. Like vultures, marabou's rid Africa and southern Asia of carrion. Well, we're gonna be here forever. Now we have crossed over into the next and herds protected by a dominant male yeah, called a stallion. Zebras protect themselves mainly by running from danger, and in the event there is not enough time to run, they defend themselves by biting and kicking, sometimes breaking the jaw of the predator. The giraffe is the tallest of all animals, standing up to 18 feet tall, with males weighing in up to 3,000 pounds. Shoulder, and in the case of the giant eland, a weight of 2,000 pounds. 
It is capable of jumping an eight-foot fence from a standing position. Elands are a sand brown color with a white underside. There is a band of black at the top of the front legs, and both male and female have long spiral horns. Our African Cameroon pygmy goats love to block traffic, especially on busy days. A miniature pygmy goat from Cameroon, Africa. Occasionally, you may find some that are gray and black in color. As we follow the road, winding down into a valley, we may come across a herd of white bearded new or wildebeest. Often thought to look like a cross between a cow and a horse, the new with its silvery gray coat, dark face, long mane and tail, and characteristic white beard is certainly an oddity. Scimitar horned oryx are the most striking of all the oryx. They get their name from the long curved horns. In their natural habitat, they blend in well with desert surroundings with their white coat and reddish brown markings on the face and neck. The marabou stork is a tall shy bird, five feet in height. Its head is bald, flesh colored, and spotted. Its body feathers are black with white chest feathers. Hanging below the throat is a pointed, descendable pouch. It is not used for holding food, but it's connected to the breathing system and may serve as a cushion for the animal resting. My baby, your baby. Ugly, carrion. <laughs> now we have crossed over into the next section of the African plains. <laughs> this area is larger and more open, and so here we find larger species of antelope and our herds of grand zebra. The zebra is a true wild horse, having never been domesticated. They are white with black stripes. Different breeds are characterized by their various stripe patterns. The grand zebra is from Africa, See, south of the Sahara them. Desert. They live in herds yeah. protected by a dominant male called a stallion. Zebras protect themselves mainly yeah. by running from danger. And in the event there is not enough time to run, Boy. they defend themselves by biting and kicking, sometimes breaking the jaw of the predator. The giraffe is the tallest of all animals, standing up to 18 feet tall, oh, with males weighing one? in up to 3,000 pounds. Their favorite food is the acacia or locust tree oh, wow. tender leaves. The higher the branch, the tree the leaves. And their long tongue is capable of reaching their higher branches. The trees you see in the rail dog yeah, section are a variety of locusts. Grazing and drinking is awkward for a giraffe, as they must spread their front legs far apart to reach the ground. The giraffes have few natural enemies. This is a very oh, vulnerable oh. position for them. A female giraffe gives birth in a standing position, with the newborn calf falling five feet to the ground. This does not injure the calf, however, who is walking and nursing within an hour. There is certainly no truth to the old belief that giraffes cannot vocalize. They have a varied repertoire of sounds, from mooing to bellowing. The eland is the largest antelope, often reaching species of animal not found in the wild, but making a comeback on protected reserves in Africa, is the white-tailed new. Once down in numbers to only 100 animals, there are now over 4,000 alive today. The smallest of the new family, measuring three and a half feet tall, with a deep brown coat, stiff mane, and a long, light-colored tail that touches the ground. When not breeding, the males tend to be driven away from the herd by the female. The ten-colored goat-like animals you've been seeing in this section are Fidad, or Barbary sheep. They live along the rough and rocky Barbary coast, and they are the only wild sheep in Africa. There are lions that live in hunts, not belonging to any family group. That's Buntot. As we leave the African plains and enter the lion section of the we want to remind you to keep your clothes and stay in your car. The lions are behind fences for your safety. We ask that you remain in your vehicle at all times. The African 
And this one on the ground, me, look at that. Oh, right there by the hmm. fence. Oh, yes. Afternoon nap, nga. Shit. King of the jungle, huh? King of the jungle. King of the jungle. Simba. Wake up. Dito, pag may nakita kayo yung ano, Ranger, sagado yung bintaan. Okay ba? Isa nga? Baby, maliit. Ah, 
five digits on each paw with long, non-retractable claws. Black bears are making a comeback in the woods of South Jersey where they were once. It is the hope of the New Jersey Fish and Game Department to soon have an increasing visible number of these animals back in the city. No, 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 Dalwa ito, dalwa. Salam. Salam. Isa lang ba? Eh, nalilin. Ay, bub, 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 bub. Brrrr. Brrrr. Right there. Standing up to five feet and weighing 200 to 500 pounds. The color can vary from a red to brown to cinnamon. Now, find a white if you see. Living in wooded areas. We're living now? That's it? Avoid danger. Understand? Five feet and weight up to 17 pounds. Mating is a long ritual of dance and trumpet like calls. The female lays two spotted white eggs, and though both parents are extremely attentive to their young, one chick is usually more aggressive towards the other, pecking at it and driving it away from the nest. It will die without food and nurturing. Not only do the cranes love this area, the cool mud and shade attract our black bucks, white bearded deer, ostrich and huh? other species who find relief from the heat. Is that rum? At this point, we re-enter part of the African plains, which is a wetland, attracting our saurus cranes. From India, Sama these cranes are naturally Sama beautiful and very graceful birds. Both males and females have the mm. same coloration, with males of the species being larger than the females. They, they reach a height of 5 feet and weight up to 17 pounds. Males have a long ritual of dance and trumpet-like calls. The female lays two spotted white eggs, and though both parents are extremely attentive to their young, one chick is usually more aggressive towards the other, pecking at it and driving it away from the nest. It will die without food and nurturing. Not only do the cranes love this area, the cool mud and shade attract our black buck, white bearded new, ostrich, and other species who find relief from the heat. <laughs> At this point, we re-enter part of the African plains, which is a wetland, attracting our saurus cranes. From India, oh, these yeah. cranes are naturally beautiful and very graceful birds. Both males and females have the same coloration, with males of the species being larger than the female. They reach a What's height that, of 5 feet and weight up to 17 yeah. pounds. Mating is a long dodge, ritual of dance and trumpet-like calls. The female lays two spotted white eggs. And though both parents are extremely attentive to their young, one chick is usually more aggressive towards the other, pecking at it and driving it away from the nest. They will them. die without food and nurturing. Not only do the cranes love this area, the cool mud and shade attract our black buck, white bearded new, ostrich, and other species who find relief from the heat. Ubus na naman yung film mo, me. Dadalwa na nga. At this point, we re-enter part of the African plains, which is a wetland, attracting our saurus cranes. From India, these cranes are naturally beautiful and very graceful birds. Both males and females have the same coloration, with males of the species being larger than the females. They reach a height of 5 feet and weight up to 17 pounds. Being omnivorous, their diet consists of berries, fruits, meat, and fish. Hibernation, the slowing of the body's metabolic process, begins around December, ending March or April. Birds occur during hibernation, like the black bears we've already seen. They vary in weight from 8 to 12 ounces. As adults, they may reach a weight of 600 pounds. Their native to Europe and Asia. Their shaggy brown coat varies 
inches, and they have long, non-retractable claws, enabling them to dig quickly and tear and kill it. Being omnivorous, their diet consists of berries, fruits, meat, and seeds. Hibernation is slowing for the body's metabolic process. Well, show your head. around December, ending come on, March come on. April. So cute. Birth occurs during hibernation, like the black bears we've already seen. Bear cubs vary in weight from 8 to 12 ounces. As adults, they may reach a weight of up to 600 pounds and stand 6 to 7 feet tall. European brown bear are one of the four subspecies of brown bear, which include grizzly, Kodiak, and Scottish bear. They're native to Europe and Asia. Their shaggy brown coat varies in shape, and they have long, non-retractable claws. <laughs> European brown bear are one of the four subspecies of brown bear, which include grizzly, Kodiak, and Syrians. They are native to Europe and Asia. Their shaggy brown coat varies in shape, and they have long, non-retractable claws, enabling them to dig Being omnivorous, their diet consists of berries, fruits, meat, and fish. Hibernation, the slowing of the body's metabolic begins around December, ending March or April. Birth occurs during hibernation, like the black bears we've already seen. Bear cubs vary in weight from 8 to 12 inches. As adults, they may reach a weight of up to 600 pounds and stand 6 to 7 feet tall. European brown bear are one of the four subspecies of brown bear, which include grizzly, Kodiak, and Syrian bears. They are native to Europe and Asia. Their shaggy brown coat varies in shape, and they have long, non-retractable claws, enabling them to dig quickly and tear and kill it efficiently. Being omnivorous, their diet consists of various fruits yeah, we'll and fish. Hibernation, the slowing of the body's metabolic process, begins around December, ending March or April. Birth occurs during hibernation, like the black bears we've already seen. Bear cubs vary in weight from 8 to 12 ounces. As adults, they may reach a weight of up to 600 pounds and stand 6 to 7 feet tall. Is this a horse? Is it a horse or a bear? It's a horse. <laughs> European brown bear are one of the four subspecies of brown bear, which include grizzly, Kodiak, and Syrian bears. They are native to Europe and Asia. Their shaggy brown coat varies in shape, and they have long, non-retractable claws, enabling them to dig quickly and tear and kill efficiently. Being omnivorous, their diet consists of berries, fruits, meat, and fish. Hibernation is the body's metabolic process. Stay? Should I jump? Should I stay? Should I stay? Should I stay? Should I stay? Birth occurs during hibernation. Like the black bear. Look at that, like Bob Bobble. Bear cubs vary in weight from 8 to 12 inches. They may reach a weight of 600 pounds and stand 6 to 7 feet tall. European brown bear are one of the four subspecies of brown bear, which include grizzly, Kodiak, and so do I have to go in Europe and Asia. Being omnivorous, their diet consists of berries, fruits, meat, and fish. Hibernation, the slowing of the body's metabolic process, begins Where around December, now? ending for wild blue heron and egret, not to mention the usual array of Canadian geese and mallard ducks who stop here on their migratory path, some choosing to nest and raise their young in safe waters. The white perch and willow trees along the road provide a peaceful backdrop for this area, and many of our guests choose to spend a quiet moment here. This section also provides a home for long... Good day, mate. From all appearances, it seems we've arrived in the land down under. The rocky hills, caves, and endless...
the streams all mimic home to a variety of marsupials and birds from Australia. Marsupials Good day, Mike. are animals who raise their young in pouches. Kangaroos, wallabies, and wallaroos fit this description. An underdeveloped fetus the size of a lima bean is born after a gestation period of four to five weeks. must find its way to the mother's pouch, where it attaches to a nipple and starts to nurse. There it remains until six months of age. And as a joey nursing in and out of the pouch, it finally stays out. Kangaroos are capable of caring for a fully developed and underdeveloped baby in the pouch at the same time. In general, a kangaroo is a large wallaby. A wallaby is a small kangaroo, and a wallaroo is a stockily built animal intermediate in size between a wallaby and a kangaroo. Our red kangaroo males reach a height of up to six feet, while the females, who are gray in color, are only three and a half to four feet tall. Kangaroos are found out in the open plains, wallabies being shy or dragged back by the caves and rocks. Their habitat is more the coastal areas and mountains inland of Australia. Male wallaroos are five feet in height and very muscular looking. Their color is charcoal gray with white undersides. Females are light and gray and smaller, three and a half to four feet tall. In the water, we see a group of black, black swans from southern Australia. Sure. The contrast of coal black feathers with white wingtips and red beak make these birds quite attractive. That's not a duck. Preferring to stay on dry land, our Cape Berry oh, are recognized by ash gray feathers with dark spots in their peculiar lime green beaks. Though included in the family of shell ducks, they resemble and sound very much like this. Kind of the are another variety of white birds not related to ostrich or reeds. Females yeah, are larger than their male counterparts. Yeah, right their there. feathers have a hair-like appearance, right. and the pale speckled brown color. Yeah. So Joey, oh look at that! Skin of the head and neck is free. So Joey, having a blue Joey, skin. that's Joey. Female eggs are a dark, lustrous green. Yeah. They take up to 50 days to hatch. baby kangaroo. As we go around the bend, to your left is our cockatoo Joey. island. Joey, Moluccan or salmon-crested cockatoos of the southern Moluccas yeah. are 20 that's inches long that. with white salmon-tinged yeah. plumage. They have a broad crest, but their longest feathers are red. Hey, the These birds inhabit forests of tropical regions, with male birds being monogamous and pairs very devoted to each other. They rarely build their own nests, preferring to lay eggs in holes in trees or in cavities under stone cliffs. Young are fed by the adults from bill to bill with regurgitated food. The size of a lima is born after a gestation oh, period oh my goodness, of four to five weeks. find its way to the mother's pouch, where it attaches to the nipple and starts to nurse. Man, there it remains until six months of age. When, as a yeah. joey, nursing in and out of the pouch, it finally stays out. Kangaroos are capable of caring for a fully developed and baby in the pouch at the same time. In general, a kangaroo is a large wallaby. A wallaby is a small kangaroo, and a wallaby is a stockily built animal intermediate in size between a wallaby and a kangaroo. Our red kangaroo males reach a height of up to six feet, while the females, who are gray in color, are only three and a half to four feet tall. Kangaroos are found out in the open plains. Wallabies are dragged back by the caves and rocks. Their habitat is more the coastal areas and mountains inland. Preferring to stay on dry land, our Cape Barren geese are recognized by ash gray feathers with dark spots in their peculiar lime green beaks. Though included in the family of shell ducks, they resemble and sound very much like geese. Females are another variety of flightless birds not related to ostrich or reeds. Female emu are larger than their male counterparts. Their feathers have a hair-like appearance, and the pale speckled brown color adds to the soft look. The skin on the head and neck is free of feathers, having a bluish tinge to it. Emu eggs are a dark, lustrous green, and it's always up to 50 but. days to hatch, with both parents taking turns incubating them. As we go around the bend, to your left is our cockatoo yeah, island. Yeah, Moluccan or salmon-crested cockatoos of the southern Moluccas are 20 inches long with white salmon tinge. They have a broad crest, but their lungs are red. These birds inhabit forests of tropical regions, with male birds being monogamous and pairs very devoted to each other. They rarely build their own nests, preferring to lay eggs in holes in trees or in cavities under stone cliffs. Young are fed by the adults from build to bill with regurgitated food. What would an Australian section be without sheep? Though not actually native to Australia, these black-faced Hampshire and Dorset sheep are excellent meat and wool producers. They're from Great Britain and have been imported to the United States. Looking around, you'll also see a collection of miniature Sicilian dogs. These animals are bred for their small size, not one being above 32 inches tall. Tiger. Uh, there it remains until six months of age. Then, as a joke, nursing in and out of the pouch, it 
Ayan na sila, dalawa. Dalawa. Apat, lima. Ganyan yung tiger ni Anu eh. Si Siegfried. Siegfried and Roy. Aha. Ganyan yung tiger ni Lakalalaki eh. Sa ano, kuha na ko yung dalawang yun. Sana lumapit dito. Oh, tumayo na eh. Buko pa. Isa, naliligo pa. Ayan, lumapit na. Ako. Papasok sa loob. Good girl. Right there in the middle. Take it, you can't let Jan. Oi. Oh, my old is a come on. Make sure you can. Nice hat. Hmm. I'll take it 
I'm not gonna move. What's that? You move. Emu? No. No. Lama, Emu? right? Lama? Lama? Lama, Lama, Lama. The probably the most popular section in Safari is last but not least, the monkey park. Oh man, look at that free fall, Joe. Anubis. Ikaw tuloy na ako na yung pangalan. Bis mo kasi. Ayun, isa oh. Ano yun? Monkey ba yun? Baksa. Ayun. Ayun, yung monkey right by the gate. By the cage. Ayun, yung monkey.